In this video, I want to explore the topic of running into fear. And I'll start us off with, I think, a very, very profound question. Why study spirituality? And if you need to, pause for a little bit and ponder this question. Like, why are you studying this stuff? And I've got a couple answers for you. If I've missed something, please put in a comment. Uh, but I think this covers quite a bit of ground. The first is just a natural existential curiosity with our existence. It's very fascinating to consider what is real. In that, science and spirituality share the same goal. You know, strip away illusion, and at the end, you're left with some kind of reality, some kind of truth. And so uh, that captures a whole uh, motivation for the spiritual teachings. The second I know really well, this was my own trip. I studied spirituality to escape fear. And so in my 20s, so much anxiety. And I thought this had to have some kind of trick, you know, I would uh, get on a plane as the world's worst flyer. I mean, there's no way this giant piece of metal is going to successfully um, defy gravity without coming down into a crash. Um, and I would take along Alan Watts. Uh, this is it, I think was one of my favorites. And I would just cling to it nervously, just thinking, "There's, you've got some secret. There's got to be something in this that can show me how to not experience what I'm experiencing. The third, and I think it's connected sometimes with the second, the third is just it's kind of burned its way out, you know, suffering, fear, anxiety. They just, they've been around like that annoying neighbor for so long, and you're just, you pack your stuff up and you just move along. Uh, but I want to focus on the second uh, reason this idea that we study spirituality out of a way of running from fear because it's a very interesting situation and I've described my epiphany a few times that it occurred to me that it was my running from anxiety that actually was my anxiety it was my running from fear that was my fear it was my running uh, avoiding escaping suffering that was the intense suffering and if you were to put uh, all the world's spiritual teachings together and just try to sum them up in a couple sentences and so give that a shot if you can I've got my own version but I would put it this way the simplest version of spirituality is that you are not the voice in the head and some of you have had that experience. If you're watching this, some of you are maybe flirting with the experience. Maybe you've had it here and there. And then, and so for some people, it's, it's just become such an absolute profound truth that uh, they never went back. Uh, it, that, that disconnect, once it was severed, it, uh, it just stayed permanently. So there's all kinds of different uh, uh, degrees in which people experience it, but, but the experience itself is, is profound regardless of where you're at on the continuum. And of course, that's why it, it, trying to fix anxiety doesn't work. The voice in the head, the mind, it's the source of the anxiety, and it's not who you are. So how in the world can you change it? And uh, that, 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 that's such an epiphany for people. But it's, there's a little bit more about that relationship. Uh, first you realize it's not who you are, but then, and I talk about this quite a bit in some other videos, this law of opposition, it's a strange mind game. Uh, and Alan Watts talked about it, Aldous Huxley talked about it. And I used to have so much fun with my students. I'd say, look, you know, here's a million dollars and all you have to do is not think of the number 13 in the next 10 seconds. And no one is ever successful with it because of course, if we try not to think of something, uh, that's exactly what happens. And so it's, and that catches that relationship with uh, being identified with the mind, because of course the mind is its own source of suffering. And it plays these tricks where uh, you try to escape it and it actually cranks it up. And I, I would love all these, uh, so many episodes of Star Trek, you might recall, where they are trying to fix a problem. And, and then the epiphany is, is that it's them trying to fix the problem that's actually causing the problem. And that's such a wonderful uh, spiritual insight to the human condition. So that is the scenario. Uh, the, what, when you run, 
it, it, and you've heard this expression, whatever you resist, persist. But when you run, it, it magnetically attra is attracted to you. When you turn around and face it, it seems to really sever that connection and it reverses the power. You know, if you've ever been running around and a stray dog starts chasing you and then you stop and start chasing the dog, you know, the dog has a second where it just kind of freaks out like what's going on and then the dog starts running. And I found that to be really similar to the nature of the mind and the voice in the head that when, uh, 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 when, when, when you really feel that uh, disidentification, um, it really empowers you and it unplugs the power of the mind. And then you can actually play with that a little bit. And instead of running from the fear, you find the absolute power of running into it.